Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. My name is Doug and today we're going to be doing some cutting on the mill using the DRO Pro's EL400 digital readout. We're going to be demonstrating the arc cut function. I tried to do some research on the internet, didn't really find too much uh, on the subject, so I'm going to uh, demonstrate it first before I go ahead and turn it loose on, uh, on a project that I'm working on. So uh, sit back and uh, we'll walk through it together and I hope you find this useful. Now before we get started here, let me go ahead and diagram what we plan on doing. We've got our plates on the vise and what we want to do is create a radius on both edges. Now in order to do that we want to program the EL400 to compensate for our 3 8 diameter cutter as we walk our way around the part like this. What we're going to need to program this is a couple of things. First, we're going to want to know the center in the X and the Y. So X is going to be 0.875 in on both sides and 0.875 on the Y. We're also going to know that we're using a 3 8 diameter cutter. Happens to be a four flute cutter. We're going to plunge cut this. You could just walk it around uh, if you wanted to, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, plunge cut it. And we also want to know how many cuts we kind of want to take. And that's what they call their max depth of cut. And let me explain that to you here in a little more detail. What we're actually doing is cutting this arc segment right here. Cutter starts, cutter ends. We're going to be moving in this direction and the reason why we're going to move in that direction is because when you go to program the EL400 it takes rotational value starting from zero degrees and moving counterclockwise. And this is going to become important here in a second. But at any rate, we're looking for a maximum depth of cut. As this cutter moves around, we kind of want to figure how many individual coordinates we want to go ahead and bring into the equation. Now the amount of coordinates is equivalent to the surface finish that you're going to get on the radius. Obviously the lesser the amount of coordinates, the more scalloping you're going to get around the surface. More coordinates brings it a little bit finer obviously. So what we want to do is determine the center, the direction angular wise of where our starting point is. In this case it happens to be 90 degrees. I think we could do that a little more professionally. 90 degrees and it's going to end up at 100 in 80 degrees. So let's go to the console and see what it's going to take to program that. All 
All right, guys. <clears throat> Before we head over to the uh, the EL400 uh, programming screen, let me just tell you where we're at uh, cutter-wise here. Uh, what I did was I just went ahead, touched off in the x-axis, and then compensated for the 3 8 diameter. Gives us a point, uh, 0.1875 radius. I plugged that into the screen, zeroed it out. Same thing came in on the Y, touched off, skewed the uh, the Y axis 0.1875 uh, 187 thousandths, and then zeroed out the uh, the Y. So where I'm at right now is I've got my zero zero right over the corner of the piece there. Uh, that's going to become a little bit more uh, important uh, once we get to the programming because what we're going to want to do is tell the DRO where the center line is in relationship to where the cutter is right now, the zero zero. So uh, now let's go over and take a look at the programming phase. And uh, <clears throat> what we're going to do is program now the arc cutting function. You're going to see the arc cutting function. It's the second, uh, second row one from the left at the top. It's got a little arc. Pretty self-explanatory. We're going to enter that. You're going to see it say arc cut up at the front. And then what we're going to do is it's going to ask us for the center of the arc in the x-axis, which from that zero, zero datum that we just talked about over on the machine, we're going to be moving 0.875 to the right, so it will be positive. So we'll put in 0.875, we press enter, and the same thing, now we have to define the center in the y-axis. Now that's going to be 0.875 in the negative value, we're moving down, so we'll put in 0.875, assign it a negative, and enter. The next thing that it's going to ask us is the radius of the arc. Again, 0.875, enter. Now, the starting angle, start angle, is going to be, remember how we talked about it's starting at zero and working counterclockwise. So we're going to start at an angle of 90 degrees. And the end angle will be 90, 180 degrees in the opposite direction from the reference. Not from when we started, but from the reference. So we're starting at 90, moving counterclockwise 90 degrees brings us to 180. Tool diameter. 3S end mill, 0.375, enter. Now this is the third, uh, there's three different types of cuts that you can take here. Interior, exterior, and mid. Now interior would be if you were, let's say, hogging out the inside of a hole. So all of your cutter offsets are going to be the to the interior of the diameter or radius, whatever you're going to cut. You press 6, this is the right arrow key, brings us to the exterior cut, and that's basically what we're doing here. All of your cutter offsets are going to be to the outside of the diameter or the radius that you're going to cut. There's one more function, which is mid, which is basically the following the center line of the cutter is the center line of the circle or the radius. We'll go back, select exterior, and press enter. Now the last input that we're going to have to put in is, like we talked about, the amount of uh, max cut per uh, sequence. And I've had some pretty good luck at 0 .040, 40 thousandths per sequence. Press enter and that brings us to the start queue. Now this number here not important to us right now, but what we're going to end up doing is we're going to be driving the table in both the X and Y until we zero that out. So I'm going to go ahead and move our X axis over and our Y axis. Oops. 
wrong direction to zero. Come on. I know you can do it. Close enough for government work. All right. Let's take a look at where that puts us at the beginning of our sequence. Let's go back over to the mill. All right. Pardon the handheld camera. <clears throat> had a hard time setting this shot up with the glare and everything, but you can see that the cutter is poised right at the tangency point of our center line and then the radius up at the top there. And what we're going to do is basically sequence the cutter around in intervals until we get all the way to the uh, to the other side of it. And when by sequencing, I'm going to go ahead and show you what that is as we go ahead and cut this thing. Now this is the first segment that we're going to go ahead and sequence. And you'll see here in a second, when I press the 6 button, that's the right arrow key. It drives us to the new coordinates. What I'll end up doing is moving the X over. And the Y. You can see the Y has very little movement in the beginning, and the X has more movement as we work our way around it. I'll plunge down, sequence to the next one. Is only a couple of thousands. Plunge down. Sequence to the next one. You can see the X is really moving. Try to make this as precise as possible. The Y is starting to become a little more into play here. Plunge down. Move to the next one. Well, there you go. Uh, arc cutting on the uh, DRO Pro's EL400. Hope you found it useful. Uh, please, if you did, like and subscribe to the channel. I always appreciate hearing some comments. So uh, if you feel like giving some feedback, it's always welcome. But I hope you found it useful. And uh, get out into the shop, be safe, have a good time, and thanks for stopping by. We'll see you soon.